It's a new one on 5.3 to be the ATL song with the Breakfast Club, hip hop and R&B. It's the voice of DJ Screen right here. Got a special guest with me. Mariah, the scientist, is here. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up with you? Now, now I heard I heard through the grapevine that, okay, you, you represent the ATL, but you, you, you from the east side? Mm-hmm. I'm from the east side. From okay. the east side? Mm-hmm. Okay. I went I'm, to um, I'm, Southwest. You went to Southwest to Cal? Mm-hmm. Why? <laughs> I mean, well, we were can you ask my mother. For Southwest no, I was zoned for Cedar Grove. Oh, you were zoned for where I went to school, I, Cedar Grove. I heard that's where you went. I went to Cedar Grove. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Now, it's crazy because I think that you guys will win, like, the sports and games, but then we'll fight afterwards. I think we will win the fight, well, if, 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 I mean, if I remember correctly. At the end of the day, what are the people going to talk about? The win, not that little debacle afterwards. Black eyes say a lot now. <laughs> Black eyes. Black eyes and busted lips Gosh. say a lot. Hey, a hey, big shout out to Southwest DeKalb. You know what I'm yes, saying? That exactly. was my whole life. If you're from the east side, from the ATL, you're all right with me. My alma mater. Shout out. Big shout out. Now, I want to ask. So, you were in school to be a biology major? Mm-hmm. What school was this? St. John's in St. New York. Wow. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's a pre- prestigious school. And, Supposedly. And you dropped it to pursue music, mm-hmm. and that's why your name is Mariah the Scientist. Yes. Okay. Elaborate a little bit on that whole process. Um. Well, when I graduated high school, I graduated high school when I was 16, and my mom didn't want me to go out of, out of state like the first year. Uh-huh. So I just like, basically, I don't want to say did nothing, but it was basically nothing for like a year, and then um, I got a scholarship to St. John's, so I went out there, and... It was good. I stayed for three years, mm-hmm. and I could have finished. I should have finished. But okay, where did this passion for music was this before you went to St. John's, Mm-mm. like throughout your childhood? Or I mean, this... I was I liked music always and stuff. And when I was um, in elementary school, I went to um, Narvi J. You know what that is on the East Side? Mm, slightly. I went there and they had a chorus, and um, they just always did like we always sung like old school stuff. Mm-hmm. And so I decided to make this nigga this song. So I went to the studio, like I went to the closest studio to the school, which was, um, I found out it was a studio that Jam Master J got killed in. Yes, in New York. Okay, yes. so I walked over there, I made a song, I put it on the iPod, the nigga never listened to the song. The, who, whoa, you talking about the guy you were dating at the time? Yes, he never listened to it. He never listened to the song. He, in fact, he shitted on me, like shitted on me, like, oh, listen to that. Like, he, he didn't do it like that, but he was just like... I don't want to hear his he song. He wasn't supporting that. Uh-huh. So, but my friends was like, you should do that. Like, that was a good song. Those are good songs. You should keep doing that. Mm-hmm. So I did. And then I made an EP. I put that on SoundCloud. People was fucking with it. RCA was fucking with it. Mm, uh, clearly. And then, Congrats <laughs> on that, by the way. And then I signed a deal. Wow. Since this guy that shitted on your song and never listened to it. <laughs> are you single now? I am single now. You are single now. So yes. it's very important now that you, you, you're rising to more fame. Mm-hmm. Everyone's going to know. Give us three steps to bagging Mariah the Scientist. <laughs> if a guy wants to bag you, give us three, rule, three rules, conditions, whatever you want to do. Okay. I would say you have to have some moral code. Have moral code. Maybe God-fearing. To, yes. I would even go as far as to say that. Thank you for saying that because most people don't even mention that. Exactly. So thank you for saying that. Exactly. It's a, some people think it's a lost cause. I disagree, but whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, I would say you have to be hardworking. Hardworking. Now, you're one away from lying, but keep keep going. <laughs> <laughs> hardworking and moral code, is that can kind of be one and the same, though. Okay. We'll put that the same. Okay, we'll say the same. Maybe um, ambitious. Ambitious. Now, we want you to be a little vain. I don't want you to lie to us. You have to be a little bit vain. You want me to say something about physical no, appearance? I, no, I'm just saying you, you oh, say you don't care. I'm not going to lie. I done dated some ugly niggas. I'll call okay. my mama up right now. She told me stop dating ugly niggas. Okay. But uh, that's that's her okay. opinion. Ambition. God fear. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> and um, I would say the last one. Um, Maybe really affectionate. I affectionate. like attention in a relationship. Okay. Like so mutual attention. Attention, affection, ambition, affection, God fearing. Mm-hmm. Now, so if they don't look so pleasant to the world or you, you might be able to. Not even to me, because the thing about it is, just because you know, just because everybody else thinks something about somebody, I thought the niggas I was dating was fine. Okay, that's all that matters. But yeah, a physical appearance, 
that's going to fade anyways. One day I won't look like this. I'll be old and wrinkly, and okay. I will hope you still like me. So how much of your music is, um, you know, your personal situations and experiences that you've been through, whether it be life or, or relationships? Basically all of it. I'm not good at writing music about stuff that doesn't pertain to me. Mm. I'm really bad. Well, I'm not going to say, I don't want to say I'm really bad at it, but it's just not, it doesn't come as easy as. Mm -hmm. It doesn't flow naturally. Yeah. Not organic. Yeah, it's like more force, definitely. Mm -hmm. But um, all of it, I guess. <laughs> how, I did guess. The pro how did the process of working with Lil Baby come together? So, um, <clears throat> that particular song, okay, so Earl on the beat, you know who that is? Mm -hmm. Okay, I love Earl to death, great friend of mine. Um, and so he was making his beat, like, well, we just linked up one day, he was making a beat, and I was like, that's fine. And then, like, that same day, I went and recorded on it, and I was like, I need Lil Baby on this song, like, I just need him on it. And everybody around me was trying to tell me, like, get somebody else, like, they was trying to get me to get all other kinds of people, not that they, the other ones were bad artists, mm -hmm. I just was, like, dead set on Lil Baby. And once I, like, fixate on something... Mm -hmm. You gotta have it, Scorpio. Gotta have it. Yep. Gotta have it. Exactly. <laughs> I looked at my label because I know they know. They know me very well. So, right. Um, I didn't know how to go about it because you know, like with rappers and stuff, with men in general, it might be more difficult to communicate because they might off rip think like they can holler at you or you trying to yeah. holler at them. Yeah. So I um I tried I think to he go. chose the right guy though because baby about his business. Exactly, and yeah. he did great. Mm -hmm. He was real professional. <clears throat> he showed up. He did a video for me. Um, he was cool. I fucked with him. And um, I told somebody that the only thing I did not like is when he showed up, we go to the same jeweler and his diamonds. Wafi? Yes, we both go to Wafi and his diamonds was like going crazy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And not saying mine wasn't going crazy. Well, 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 well Wafi's going to see this. Wafi's, a good, I've spent my. You have to kind of have that talk with Wafi. Man. Was it your first time shopping no, with Wafi? No, I shop with Wafi all the time. Well, you I shop with him all the time. Him. Exactly. I'm, if you're watching this, Wafi. Wafi's watching. Oh, oh, he's watching. Me and Wafi got a fight. I'm going to go see Wafi You know what? Me Thursday. and you going to pull up to Wafi together. I need to talk exactly. to him, too. We coming, Wafi. Exactly. Yeah. I feel you, though. But, I mean, this is a little baby. I know. I know. He's getting, he, I heard he's getting 200 occasion. There you go. So, his, <laughs> his diamond should be shining. Yeah. Real hard. How, how you feel about 2020? How, how how has it affected you? Like, it's just been, I'm just so ready for it to be over. I'm so ready for it to be over. 2020 has been ridiculously crazy. I just, I don't know. I feel like I was ambushed. We all were. Exactly. So. But what's the good that came out of it for you? Being in the house, I got some producer's equipment. Okay. I made some beats. So you making beats. Exactly. Nice keep that money all to myself <laughs> okay um i mean i guess i just made some I, I cooked every day probably i perfected any recipe i didn't have perfected before i could tell you that mm -hmm. probably gained 15 pounds or so <laughs> cooking and eating exactly. and producing. yeah but i don't know it's just been i don't know what do you think it was like hard That's exactly i mean i haven't i was gonna say this towards probably one of the worst years of my life but i try to look at the positive in it you know what i'm saying i forgot what a nap was mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying i really forgot what sleep was and then it kind of just hit and it's kind of like you got to sit your ass down mm -hmm. you can't go out the house you can't do you can't do this so of course i'm still a madman in my house trying to figure out how to keep the hustle mm -hmm. going but i sat my ass down but at least you had more time with your family yes. you like maybe got a chance to do more stuff that you hadn't had mm -hmm. the time to do oh yeah i didn't waste the time off for although sure. everything has been closed i don't know for a minute, it was nothing to do. You couldn't do nothing, but it kept us safe. Okay. <laughs> it kept us safe. Sure. <laughs> That's funny. I suppose. That's funny. <clears throat> uh, what's your favorite time of the year? Is it like birthdays? Or do you get hype about your birthday and your friends' birthdays? Is it like Are you like a Christmas person, Thanksgiving? Like, Christmas what's your favorite? Christmas makes me sad. Christmas makes you sad? Why? Yes. I don't know. It just does. I don't know. My parents are divorced, and, like, my okay. family be, like, super scattered. Last year, I had a good Christmas, though. Mm -hmm. I had a good Christmas for the first time. I can't wait to see what this Christmas looks like, but, um... Oh, you got to buy all the gifts. You got the record deal. I'm cool with that. The person with the record deal buys all the gifts. I like Trust buying me. all the gifts. I had a record deal. I'm good at I had at to that. buy all the gifts. I'm good at, I'm good at gifts. <laughs> it's fun. I feel like that's fun to do. But, um, I like my birthday. I like... It just never really turns out how I want it to turn out. But this year, I'm trying to do a Halloween party. Mm. 
I never had one of those. My birthday is near Halloween, so I'm gonna try that. Mm-hmm. If it if it works out, you can come. Socially dist like just like in here. <laughs> so as long think as we of your distance and cool, we good. Think about your costume. Okay. Think hard on it. Okay, you, <laughs> okay. you don't got that much time. I don't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I gotta go costume shopping. You do. Um, what does the future hold for Mariah the Scientist? What can we look to, uh, forward to as the year concludes? Well, right now I'm working on this project. It's supposed to be coming out it's, in it's, October? It's supposed to be coming Is it coming out in October? I, did I say that? Exclusive news. Exclusive it, info. It is supposed to come out in October. Then damn it, it's going to come out in October. <laughs> okay, I appreciate the optimism. It gets, you know what I'm saying, it's a little... It's coming soon. I'm glad you said that. I hope everybody in this room is we sticking to the plan. Because well, otherwise, think, you know, if it, I, I think a great time to drop a project is your birthday. I'm trying to. It do should that. at least come out by your birthday. I'm trying, but it's just so many uh, technicalities, and uh, like I said, it's short film. It's a lot of details. Mm. It's a lot of very meticulous and tedious. So I'm just trying to get that perfect. Because, like I said, they know if, if it ain't how I want it to look. Yeah, be on top of your... The world ain't never going to see it. There you go. Be on top of it. Be on top of it. So be I'm it. trying to work on that project. Okay. And when the name of the project is? Do we know yet? No? Not quite? That's I do the, know. Oh, you're not... Oh, okay. There's the east side, love. Go hold it from the world. <laughs> what do you think? I don't know. Oh, no. you too? You must be from the west side. I don't know. I might have to hold that one down. <laughs> I might have to hold that one down. All right, so new new project coming soon with some visuals. Mm-hmm. As soon as I, I'll let you see it first. I'll send it over to you so you can see it. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. All right. We appreciate you pulling up to 105.3 to be. Give everybody well, your social media me. so thanks they can tap me. in with you. Okay. My social media, my Instagram is Mariah the Scientist. My Twitter is Mariah Scientist. And I think um, those are the only places you can find me unless you and find you me on the street. And you got a website. Come on, I do have that a website, website that I just now. released yeah. yesterday. It's MariahTheScientist.com. And they on their website, they can. Find my music, my videos, any content, my merch, which is, I think, sold out today. I don't know for sure. I need to check the analytics, but I Hard. think it's sold out. I like it. I'm really happy about that. So thank you to everybody who contributed to that. Mm-hmm. And, um... Thanks for having me. I'll be back up here as soon as. As soon as you drop the album, we're getting the exclusive. <laughs> when you go platinum and gold, me and Louis V getting our plaques. It's all exactly. good. Exactly. You're going to hang in. them up here. Yep. They're going to be everywhere. Right Mariah by that stripper pole plaques. that y'all can't see. <laughs> 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 it's a new 105.3 to beat. Big salute to Mariah the Scientist. Thank you.